just birds in general like I I see birds and I think most people see birds as freedom um, the ability to fly like that I think is just awe-inspiring especially songbirds to see little birds flying through the brush to see a wren flying through the underbrush is just like even more exhilarating than seeing like an eagle soaring or something. It's kind of nice to revisit, you know, this thing that I was doing when I moved here and had nothing to my name and was just like trying to figure out exactly how I could make a, a go of being an artist. And uh, so in a way it's, you know, paying homage to that, but I also like this myth of why seagulls exist, I guess. I, okay, so there's two kind of directions that these birds came from. One was having taken uh, inspiration from a film called The Lighthouse. I seen you sparring with a gull. Best leave him be. The myth of that when sailors die, they become seabirds. And uh, I kind of liked the idea of these birds having this character of like a sailor of some kind living in them. Yeah, they just resonate with people. But I also think that they have like, a, there's a humor to them, there's character. Yeah, I think people can relate to that. When I moved to Vancouver Island in 2013, and I was living in my truck, I was making little drawings, like watercolor drawings of seagulls. And I was like walking around the streets of Victoria with these birds and they were all smoking and I'd written Victoria on them and so I was trying to sell them to tourists and I didn't sell any of them. Now having, after seven years, gained gallery representation and working with a gallerist that I really uh, respect and uh, they're able to, you know, I paint birds and they sell them. <laughs> I would give my entire life in the human experience for 10 minutes of being a bird. I think it would be worth it. <laughs>